Hey YouTube, my name is Zach and I'm the creator of Cassandra Mar and today I'm going to be doing part 7 in this series of tutorials explaining how to create your own programming language. Um, sorry about like the extreme lateness of this video, uh, it's like some situations came up so I wasn't able to record um, and also because of the lateness of this video I wasn't able to finish the code generator um, but the full code generator source file is in the description to the right of this video. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the program.cs file. And this is the user interface. This is what's going to control, um, or this is what the user's going to see basically when they open up the compiler. So let's get started. First thing, we're going to be declaring the libraries a little bit differently, a little bit more normally than we have in the last uh, few videos. We're going to be doing, we're going to be using system, and we're going to be using system dot collections dot generic. Okay. We're also going to be using. Oops. We're going to be using system dot link. We're going to be using system.txt. We're going to be using system.diagnostics. So I'm going to up. System.io. See, we have a namespace. This named it test compiler. See class program and okay so this is what you see anyway um, when you open the program.cs file. Now we're going to do an if statement and it's going to be args.length is not equal to negative one. And let's see. We do string. Yeah, that's not good. We're not going to make that much that uh, complex of a compiler. Let's do a console dot write line. And let's put press enter to compile your code. Okay. After that, let's do a console.readline and oops. Let's see. Okay, and after this if statement we're going to do actually we can do this within the if statement we'll do a try statement within this we're going to type in scanner we're going to name it scanner and this one's going to equal null. We're going to be using a text reader. This one's going to be called input. This one's going to equal file dot open text. And this one's going to be args zero. Alright, what I'm doing now is I'm just doing a catch statement. Anyway, 
Within this using bracket, we're going to type in scanner equals new scanner input. And then right outside of these, we're going to do parser parser equals new parser. And this one's going to be scanner dot tokens. Code gen. I thought we we're going to do code gen. We can call it code gen. And this one's going to equal new code gen. And it's going to be parser dot result path dot get file name without extension. It's going to be ARG. Okay. Zero. Within these square brackets. Plus that exe. Okay. And then within this catch statement here, we're going to do console.error.writeline e.message. And uh, that is why we did this. Okay, guys. Um, so this is basically all of the. Um, program.cs files code. So let's see if we can run this. Go up to uh, the start debug or I think F5 and okay. Voila. Um, okay guys, if you've gotten this far and you're able to run your application, then that means that you've officially created your own programming language. Congratulations. In the next tutorial, we will be uh, we will be testing out our language for the first time.